to the end of our maths topic so I'm not going to start a new one before half term so what we're going to do the next three days is do some basic skills to practice our number skills so today we're going to look at adding using the column method now I know you did a bit of this yesterday when you were adding money um, but I noticed some errors that you were coming across so we're just going to take a look at this and practice uh, addition skills so here when you're doing um column addition you have the two numbers remember it doesn't matter which way around the two numbers go because it's community law and then you need to make sure that you put your place value um above the numbers so we've got let's change that color thousands hundreds oh this isn't the best tens and ones so Remember when we're adding that we start in the ones column. So we've got one add zero, which is going to give us one. We've got five add three, which added together makes eight. And then we've got eight and three. Now eight add three, so eight add three is nine, ten, eleven, isn't it? So because it's eleven, well it's actually eleven hundred. You put so I'm just going to put eleven hundred here at the side. So you put that one in the hundreds column and that one is actually a thousands number. So you have to put that in the thousands column there. And then you've got two, add two, which is four, add the one, which is five. So we've had to uh, rename here, haven't we? Because that equals 1100. So we kept the 100 and then um, renamed the, the, the other hundreds into thousands. So it's the same with this one. So again, you've got 8,976 add 7,246. So you put your place value. It's really important that you put your place value, guys, and that your numbers are in the right columns. I should go wrong. So we've got 6 add 6, which we know is 12. So I'm just going to put 12 at the side there so we can see. So we put the 2 in the 1s column because the 2 is a 1s number. And we carry that 10 and regroup it into the tens column. So you've got 7 add 4, which is 11. Add the 1, which is 12. So 12 tens is 120. You don't need to do this at the side, but if you want to, that's fine. So look, you keep the 2 in the tens column because it's 20. And you rename the other tens, which is 10 tens, which makes 100 in the hundreds column. You've got 9 add 2, which is 11, add the 1, which is 12. But this time, it's not 120, it's 12,000, because they're hundreds numbers. So you keep the 200 in the hundreds column, and you put the 1,000 in the thousands column by renaming. Then you've got 8 add 7 add 1, which is 16,000. So there you go. You can use the comma to separate the thousands from the hundreds if you wish. So these are your questions today. You've got eight different questions. Now, you might have a bit of trouble writing thousands, hundreds, tens and ones above it. But remember, you can drag the text box over or you could just work it out on paper and then write the answer in. But if you do work it out on paper and then you write the answer in, can you make sure you show me if you've renamed any of them? by putting a little one in it or a two or whatever it may be. Um, if you can do it, I have drawn text box in the answer box so you can type the answer in, but you might find it easier just to do it on paper and then to type the answer in and to put in anything you've carried over because there'll probably be more space if you did it on paper. But there's eight questions. Remember, you don't always have to rename. So if a number like here, like three add zero, is just gonna stay as three, there'll be nothing to rename. But then sometimes you do have to rename so you've got 9 add 4 is 13, so you'd have to put the 3 in the 1s and carry the 1 over into the 10s. So just remember when you're adding in the column method to put your place value, if you're doing it on paper, make sure that um, each number is in the correct place value and that you add it correctly and carry over to regroup if anything's above um, 9. You should be fine with this. It's, we've done this lots of times. But just to practice some of those basic skills that we haven't done for a few weeks because we've been doing fraction time. If you need any help, message on the blog. 
but if not, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.